Hello and welcome to the Young Wonders Classroom. Thanks for coming. Today I'm going to show you a simple and fun activity that you can make at home for beginning sound and short-term memory development. We have a very special box in our classroom called the I Spy Box and hidden inside are objects that our students love to discover and learn with. So to make this at home, any available boxes are terrific. I recommend like a shoe box. Um, it's really nice to have something that has a, like an open and close feature because I love to open and close things. But if you did not have a spare box, a shallow tray would work as well. And I've already put together a little collection of objects. Um, and you could do this while your child is sleeping and surprise them in the morning or when they're distracted. You could change the objects. And it's always fun to have a little surprise effect. So I like to put like a scarf over things so they can um, have a little fun like, ta-da, what's inside? Today, we have a mouse, a car, train, dragon, basket, and spoon. Now my one note for parents is to find objects that have different beginning sounds. It can be a little bit confusing if you had, um, for example, like two things that start with the sound B, like book and block. So I recommend, uh, you know, just different, different beginning sounds. So the first game that I'm going to show you is I spy something that starts with the sound t, t, t. Now this isn't a test, so if there's any hesitation from your child, just quietly point to the object so that they can have the fun of making that connection like train and being proud to um, know the answer. Uh, and I would go through all the objects, like I'm thinking of something that starts with the sound b, b, b. And I also sometimes like to introduce the sound, like by saying what letter it is. And then again, if there's any hesitation, just to point the, to the object so that they can feel successful with this game. Our second game that we love to play with our I Spy objects is called What's Missing? And this develops short-term memory. Um, while having fun and taking turns. So one friend would close their eyes and the other one would hide something behind their back. And when it was hidden away, say, what's missing? And the friend that opens their eyes would guess. Now you could also give them clues, like this is a small animal that likes to eat cheese or hide in little holes. Mouse. Eventually your child may want to do two things behind their backs. So it's fun to, as they learn the objects and remember them, to give them the next challenge of hiding a next room behind your back. So I thought that it would be fun for you to uh, be able to put this together with your child. Now, I chose objects or in my classroom, but you could either do it by yourself or uh, find objects collaboratively with your child so that they feel like they're also putting the game together. And it's a fun one, like if you're ever at a restaurant or even visiting relatives, that you could find five or six things in their home and play this game. I have to say, I, it's, it's a good one for the back pocket. So enjoy and have fun learning with your child. And I will see you next time. Thanks for tuning in.